All right, don't mess with Texas. The Lone Star State setting its sights on Maryland now, one of the most heavily taxed states in the nation, with a governor that probably wants to run for president. And with a radio and TV ad blitz, Texas is turning heads, touting business-friendly, no personal income tax, and the fact it's Texas. When you grow tired of Maryland taxes squeezing every dime out of your business, think Texas. Where we've created more jobs than all other states combined. Where you'll find limited government, low taxes, and a fair legal system. That's why Forbes magazine says Texas is home to seven out of the ten top cities in America to do business. Maybe it's time to move your business to Texas. Well, uh, that's an all-out push. Maryland isn't the first state to see, uh, to see ads like this. California, New York, Connecticut, Illinois, and Missouri have also been past targets of Texas Governor Rick Perry. Is he playing fair? Is is his job pitch working? The governor joins us right now. What do you th are you playing fair, uh, Governor? Well, competition is, is quite fair, I believe. I'm pretty sure the Maryland Turpins uh, want to win football games, and uh, the country wants to create an environment that uh, allows people to be able to take care of their families, and, and that's really what this is about when you get down to it. Who is out there that's going to help create uh, the most competitive environment where uh, those entrepreneurs know they can risk their capital and have a chance to have a return on the investment, uh, hire people in, in the states and create jobs. So uh, it's a blue state, red state uh, policy discussion that uh, we're uh, hoping to help lead across the country. And um, getting people to talk about it and talk about it in a civil, thoughtful way, that what are the best policies, uh, whether it's in Maryland or whether it's in Connecticut or whether it's in Texas or Oklahoma. Well, and that's what this is really all about. Well, you got a Democratic governor there who wants to be president, Martin O'Malley, I think. He says this, instead of engaging in PR stunts, Governor Perry should come to Maryland to see firsthand the better choices that have led to these better results. Your reaction? Well, certainly, you know, Maryland is a state that uh, in some areas that they're doing a good job. But when it comes to taxes, when it comes to job creation, that's what this discussion is going to be about. You know, uh, day before yesterday, we were in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, uh, announcing the first smartphone assembled in the United States. 2,500 jobs created there because we've created a tax and a regulatory and a legal climate and a skilled workforce that right. a big company like Motorola and Google together would come to. And it's those individuals who have jobs there, right. being able to take care of their family, who's really at the heart of this whole discussion. Uh, Governor, too, you're kind of affecting policy, too, by uh, what you did in Missouri, showing up there and urging the legislature to, uh, to lower taxes, veto taxes. So you're going to come for their, their businesses. Listen, this is all about competition. And if, if you're afraid of competition, then maybe you, you shouldn't be in the game. Uh, but I truly believe that the states are where uh, the real environment's going to be created. Washington, D.C. has some jobs that they need to do, like cutting back on the spending and uh, having a uh, cogent foreign policy and, uh, and a tax policy that uh, helps bring right. offshore dollars back into the state. But the, the real policies in this country that are going to drive uh, job creation are in the states. It's the personal income tax, it's corporate income taxes, it's regulatory climate. Right. And that's what we're trying to have a good civil conversation about. Uh, you know, not, not turning this into some uh, political public right. relations battle between uh, two governors, but having a thoughtful conversation across this right. country about which one of these policies really help the people in our communities and in our homes and in our states. And what you're saying essentially, if you don't like the competition, you pick the wrong country. There's plenty of other countries where no one competes <laughs> and no one excels. Uh, and no one, you know, there's a net there. Uh, Governor, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Brian. Thank you.